Our Story Productions presents the Cockover Morning Show, where we weed out the big stories from throughout Sweet Swine County with Bobby Ray and Sally Sue. Thank you, and welcome to the Cockover Morning Show. I'm Cassidy Davis, here filling in for Sally Sue today. And with me is Earl Silo, filling in for Bobby Ray. Welcome, Earl. Well, well, thank you, Miss Cassidy, and you know, you're going to have to excuse me if I'm a bit nervous because, you know, I'm one of your biggest fans. You're, you're one of the most successful singers in Sweet Swine County. I've been to all of your concerts over there at, at the community hall, you know. Oh, thank you, Earl. But I have a confession of my own to make. I am actually a huge fan of yours. I mean, you're the co-host of Split Hoof tonight. You have that wonderful segment, Earl Steps Out. I mean, wow. Well, shucks. Well, <laughs> you know, I was really excited when, 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 when our boss over at Cluck TV said that, you know, that's Cousin John. He said that mm -hmm. we could host today because, you know, well, he said Bobby Ray and Sally Sue were off doing homework or on some kind of report oh. or something. I, I don't You mean they're on assignment, Earl? Oh, yeah. yeah that, that was yep. yeah, on assignment, yeah. <laughs> well, because they were on assignment, you know, he, I thought this would be a great, a great opportunity, you know, maybe the break that, that I was hoping for, maybe that I could star in my own show. You know, I'd show uh -huh. Cousin John that I was ready. Well, he's always yeah. looking for new programming, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. Well, let's get this ball rolling here. Okay, so I was thinking, normally, when Sally Sue and Bobby Ray are here, Bobby Ray does that segment, um, Weekend, we yeah. yep, yeah. Weekend Adventures with Bobby Ray. But I was thinking, since we're here, you could do one of your Earl Steps Out segments instead. Really? You, you, you think I should? I, do. I mean, Bobby Ray won't get mad or anything, would he? Earl, we are in charge. We're in charge. I think we should do it. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah, you're right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you a little segment that I call Earl Steps Out! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm planning to go over near Blue Earth to visit the location where Interstate 90 joined East and West in southern Minnesota. You know, the nation celebrated completion of Interstate 90 after the contractors paved the last four miles of freeway near Blue Earth, Minnesota in 1978. Reminiscent of that Golden Spike celebration that symbolized uh, the completion of the nation's first transcontinental railroad in 1869, the officials arranged to tint a small portion of I-90's pavement gold. And also, you know, like the two locomotives that met at the juncture of the Transcontinental Railroad to represent meeting east and west, two National Guard trucks, Minnesota National Guard trucks, met at that union of Interstate 90, a national interstate defense highway. Official pra officials praised that new highway, citing its promise for safer, and faster travel linking our nation. That's over there by Blue Earth. I think that's where I'm gonna go. Yep. The next time... Errol steps out! Miss Cassidy, how come you moved a little closer to me here? Well, right. Earl, we're about to bring our guest out. Oh, okay, but okay. I, I have to say, that yeah. report you just gave, that is why I'm your biggest fan. Oh, shucks. It was wonderful. But, Fantastic. But, we, we better bring our guest out. Well, sure thing, but could I ask you something? The next time you go on one of your adventures, would you consider bringing me along? Well, sure. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, folks, it's time to bring out our guest from the county of Lesseur in the town of New Prague. It's Jim Reeder. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, Jim. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's always great to have our guests on here. We appreciate right. them so much. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Jim Reeder from Montgomery. I live in Montgomery with my wife and Mindy and uh, our three kids. And uh, I work in New Prague. And you have a business there? Yes, I own Downtown Sound. That's a music store in New Prague. Tell us a little bit about that, uh, your Downtown Sound. Downtown Sound is a full-service music store. We carry all the guitars and brass and woodwinds. Uh, we have lessons available. We also do PA gear and we do installations in churches and uh, um, basically all the accessories and needs of the local musicians. Uh, 
you uh, play any musical instruments yourself? I'm a trumpet player. I also play keyboard and uh, I also do some singing. Really? So maybe we'll have to invite you to share some of your talents a little later on in the show today. We'll see. That maybe would we that can. would be great. So have you got a band going or Yes, I also have the Downtown Sound Variety Band. Uh, we are a five-piece band. There's four guys and one gal, and we play a large variety of music. We all double on instruments. We all sing, and uh, we can play everything from oldies rock and roll to country to, you know, all kinds of top hits. That is so fun to see the, the live bands. Sure. I mean, it's just... So different yeah. from some of the different the DJ things that they have going on now. And my sister got married a few years back, and they had a band, and I thought, oh, how cool is this? Now, do you have any CDs? Do you have any, do you have any music? Well, the band started uh, about 32 years ago when I was about 16, and we started out actually as the Check Lights Band, which was a polka band. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yes, and over the years, we recorded six albums, and those are available on CDs and you can get those through our music store. Okay. So if somebody was interested in maybe booking your band for an event, how would they, can they do that or? Yes, we play for weddings, we play for clubs, we play firemen's dances, um, we play for city festivals, all sorts of things we, we can play for you and, and we do a nice job with a nice variety of music. Uh, if they wanted to get a hold of us, they could call us at uh, 888-758-5166 or they could check us out online uh, downtownsoundmusic.com. Let's go back to your store again. First off, how long have you had your store up there in New Prague? Uh, we opened the music store in 1993 so it's it's been 18 years. Okay now did I hear right now you give lessons up there as well? Yes we have lessons cool. on uh, guitar, brass woodwinds, vocal, oh, all sorts, and um, yeah. piano, violin, uh, and percussion. And we in have, all kinds of ages then? or Yes, actually we have a fair amount of adult students. Uh, we've got about 200 some students that are enrolled in our studios. Wow, how many instructors do you have there? Mm, I think we're at about seven. Group. Wow. Fantastic. So, so you think you could teach a feller like me maybe to even sing or We've or already accomplished that with others. Really? That sounds like a great and a man idea. as talented as you yeah. would have no problem learning an instrument. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might have to keep that. In mind. That's right. Well, I hinted earlier that maybe you'd be interested in sharing some of your musical talent with us. Come on, what do you say? Our audience would love it. We'd love it, right? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also brought some special gifts for you two, and I'm hoping hey. that you will play along with me. Oh my goodness! What did you bring? Our musical debut. I brought right. kazoos. Oh, kazoos! Can handle this. And I'm hoping that everyone will play along with me because I brought some for everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now the song we're going to be playing is when the saints go marching in. Okay. And oh, I would like it if yeah. everyone would play along with me. Jim, I would like to thank you so much for coming here today. Wasn't yes, it was, fun, it was great, great. Thanks They'll for coming over. We'll have to go on assignment a little bit more often. We That's get to right. meet such fun people. Well, thank you for inviting me to your show, and I hope to see you at one of my dances. Definitely. You and never know. Before we go, let's hear a little bit about another point of interest from a community member from a place outside. <laughs> oh, Professor Jay Von Tron here in my new and improved time machine. Well, we'll be traveling back in time to some interesting destinations. Oh, my time machine, it stopped. Well, we're not traveling back in time. Well, let's look at some communities. Zambroda, Minnesota, originally founded in 1856 by German and Scandinavian settlers, is located between Rochester and the Twin Cities in the Zumbro River Valley. This small town of 3100 has preserved its heritage while continued to grow and develop. Zimbroda is home to Minnesota's only functioning covered bridge, which was built in 1869 
and added to the National Register of Historical Places in 1975. Today, the bridge sits in the 85-acre Covered Bridge Park, which offers camping, a picnic shelter and tables, fireplace, paved walking and biking trails, and a swimming pool. The city also boasts other parks where children will find playground equipment or you can play softball, baseball, football, volleyball, golf, and horseshoes, or ice skating in the winter. The town also offers an exceptional education system, a wonderful library, and numerous civic organizations. Each June, Zimbaroda celebrates their Covered Bridge Music and Art Festival with activities for all ages. Zimbaroda invites everyone to visit their delightful town for a day or a lifetime, for they are bridging the past and the future. There, I think I've fixed the problem. Oh no, not again. Well, let's look at this town in the county of Dodge County in southeast Minnesota. You'll find the town of West Concord. This friendly town started in 1884 after local farmers built an eating establishment with overnight rooms to serve railroad workers and travelers. Once the railroad line opened for service in the fall of 1885, the community grew quickly, with many businesses migrating from Concord, the town three miles east of West Concord. Today, West Concord remains true to their rural heritage with businesses and organizations that represent small town friendliness and values. The community offers beautiful parks, a wonderful library for education and entertainment, a thriving historical society, volunteer fire and rescue, and numerous businesses providing services equal to those in large communities. Each July, West Concord Survival Days provide three days of family-friendly activities, bringing visitors from far and wide to join the celebration. West Concord welcomes your visit for a day, a weekend, or a lifetime. <laughs> Wow. Wasn't that a great report? I really liked that one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jim, we definitely want to thank you for being a guest here today. It was really enjoyable getting to know you and, and hear about your great store. And really thank you cool. for inviting me on your show. Oh, yeah. I had a good time. Yeah, we had a great time yeah, also. Right. This was pretty fun. I hope to see you at one of my dances. That'd be awesome. Go dance at the... We could step out. I think that, I think that we should. I'm going to check the website. Or okay. We're making a there date. We, we are. And I want to thank everybody here in the studio audience today and all of our viewers for watching the Cockleburn Morning Show, where we weed out the big stories in Sweet Swag County and beyond. Bye-bye.